The name of my topic paper is the role of folklore in preserving endangered language with reference to Tiwa language. Uh, my objectives are the paper of my objectives are to know the impact, to know the importance of folklore, role of folklore in preserving the culture and language, documenting and archiving endangered languages to bring awareness among the community members. First of all, I would like to give a brief introduction about the Tiwa community. Tiwa is also known as Lalung. It's a Bodogaro language group belong to the tibeto burman subgroup of the Sibitno Tibetan language family. Tiwa is spoken in Nogaon, Kardianglong, Morigaon, Kamrup, Metro, and Hemazi district of Assam, and also in Rivoy district of Meghalaya. The community is also known by different names based on their area of settlement. Hills people are known as Hajowali. The foothills people are known as Datiali, and the plain the people who are settled in the plain area are known as Tholuali. The total population of Tiwa was 371,000 out of which only 31,421 can speak the language according to 2011 census of Assam. And this is the a classification of Tiwa language family is based on Berlin classification 2003. And this is the map where Tiwa people are located. Uh, my methodology is mainly of primary sources which are collected from Kardiyangong district and Moringan district of Assam and all the photographs and videos recorded are done by the author itself. I'll go to the culture section of Tiwa community. In Northeast India, many communities are found which are very rich in their indigenous culture and customs. Although all these communities are survived side by side, the culture, language, dress, food habits are unique from one another. Like other communities, Tiwa community is also very rich in its own culture. Being a settled tribe, this community is lacking behind in terms of economic and literature rate. For each cultural rituals, this community performs different folk songs and dances. Tiwa people are still practicing the oral transmission method, where the elder generation teaches their all their folk songs, dances, etc. in their dormitory called Samadhi and perform it in any cultural rituals or festivals. Samadhi. Samadhi is the male dormitory of the Tiwa community. In this dormitory, only males are allowed. The old men or senior ones teach rules and regulation of the ritual, folk song, and dances, making of handloom items and playing instrumental, etc. to the younger ones. Many cultural rituals are also performed in the dormitory itself. And these are the, some of the pictures of the dormitory, which we call as a Samadhi. And Nobaro. Nobaro is the kitchen of Tiwa community, where each family has in the hills area and in plains, it's very rare. Kitchen of Tiwa performs very active role to this community because in hills, they basically worship to the pillars located in the middle front of the Nobaro. In traditionally, that pillar we used to call as a Tunapang. The house of the, uh, this house has a three rooms. The first room is Nomadi. A male room, generally it's a male room and a cultural activities take part in the first room itself. In the second room is known as a Nokuti. It's a kitchen and a room of female. Third room is called Tinijat. Tinjisal. Tinjisal. It's a, uh, where the rice bondi uh, instrument is kept and a store room. Uh, this is the uh, some of the photos of the Nobaro. This means the kitchen. Traditional dress. Tiwa women are very expert in weaving. Even today, their dresses are prepared by the community people themselves. Their dresses are very colorful with a unique style and the flowers that they wave on their clothes are different from the others. Men wear thagla, thana, paga, tenas, segailo, and pali. Women wear paskai, which is long piece of clothes and cover the entire body. And they also use kasong, which is a kind of skirt and an ara as a belt. These are the some photos. Um, of Kiva uh, dresses where male and females used to wear. Uh, the, this one is the originally original one. Uh, this is the photos of uh, at, uh, one of festivals. Yes. Musical instrument. At present, Kiva music is very popular even in the Assamese society. Kiva people are music lovers and for that reason they have different rituals which include dance and songs and each songs and music are very energetic they use different types of drums and flute etc 
the cram cram ludang is a long drum cram baro is a short drum cram pantai is a small drum and pansi is known as a flute the flute is known as a pansi here different types of drums are shown and this one is this one is the long flute <coughs> use of folk songs in rituals Cuba people are basically based on agriculture. They are not so advanced in the field of education and modern technology. They celebrate many festivals and rituals according to their tradition. This community has a unique identity, that is family identity, known as school and a place of identity for it. And their rituals are different among the identity itself. In our community, in Cuba community, there are five folks, which, is, which are Magro, Marjong, Amsai, Lumpoi, Amni, and Ronghoi. The way of practicing is a unique from the others. They cannot celebrate when they want. There is a time and a day for celebration, and each clan has a different festivals or rituals. The butter system is still found to be practiced in some foothills market areas, and Junbil Mela is one of the old traditional big culture butter system festival, which takes place in the month of January, just after the Makar Sankranti. Makar Sankranti in Jangrit of Morikam district under the Gobha Tiwa kingdom. Some of the cultural rituals which are practiced by the Tiwa community are Moinori Kanti, Yangli, Wansua, Sogra Misawa, Khablang Rawa, Jangkhon Puja, Jatisal Puja, Langkhon Puja, Borot, Junbin Mela, etc. Uh, this system is a song that are, uh, that are practiced by the Magro folk people. They come together and join them by dancing, singing, and use the traditional drums and flute. The folk song they use this and uh, these rituals are uh, this is the song which they, they sing during these uh, festivals. It's in this song they it says that it's a time to pray for Father Kapla. Come and join us to save our rituals. It has been celebrated for a long time back. Come out, young girls and boys, join us and dance together by playing drums and flute. Seasonal warning also has been given by the insect Sengai. If you go to Loro house, Loro means it's like the king of that <coughs> foil area, particular village area. Go house, go dancing. If you go to Doloi house, just after uh, to Loro, it's a Doloi house, go line by line. If you go to Sangmaji house, go sometimes. And if you go to Sangdole house, just ask and go. And if you come next time, we will introduce ourselves. It's a Moinari Country Festival songs. This one is. So, Wansua is also known as uh, Wansua is a rice morning festival, right, uh, which is one of the popular rituals among the Amkha folk and Marjong folk. It is generally performed every after five years. The ritual is like handover the, the work Samadhi to the newly elected selected members. They celebrated it pounding rice by singing and dancing play drums and so and while singing, the elder generation people teach to the new selected members. This is the song of one Suwa Puja or uh, festivals. And the free translations is that in these folk songs, they wanted to explain that this ritual was given by our Lord Sodonga, my long Raja. It has been practiced from ancient days. While singing, the older generation people teach younger generation people about the Samadhi the rituals of the Samadhi also. And at last, if someone asks question about the bird of the Lord Sodonga Raja, tell about the Tini Thongro. I want to show the video of the of this festivals, how they pawn rice. So. The Sogra. Sogra is one of the major festivals of the Tiwa people. It is a festival celebrated during the spring season every year. It centers on the institutions of the Samadhi or youth dormitory. Lit dormitory. Literally speaking, Sogra is a three five arc cone of the floral motif made out of the soft, thin, long, and white kernel of an aquatic grass. A light thin and a small bamboo piece place is used as a holder for the flower and it is fixed atop of the turban of the male dancers who are called Misawa. The celebration of this festival is not possible with the Sogra adorned 
on the turbans of the dancers. It was believed that the costumes were preserved by the divine family of the weavers. The villages prepared before the uh, they prayed before the gods and offered a god full of moth is called rice beer. Ju, we say Ju, along with the koi pan, it's a betel nut and leaves, and sung the flowers following prayer song. This is the, the songs that they play during Sagra festivals. The translation is, O God of Dance and Pagun is a spring season. We are offering you love. This is a gourd with a rice beer and a betel nut leaves. Please give us stress to perform the festival with the dance and the song. Actually, there is it has a long mythological belief that they, uh, we used to go and pray to that Lord and God, Lord used to give us that clothes to dance to perform this festival. And this is the, <clears throat> these are the clothes that they are wearing. It's a very old clothes. Yeah, this is the song of Sakura Misawa, which was performed in the Amsai village. Thank you. Yes, role of folklore in language preservation. What it roles? Folklore performs a very active role in language preservation. It performs, it serves as an important means of entertainment and recreation. It's also a useful means of educating and informing people. The wisdom of the older members of the community are passed down to the younger generation. This serves, this serves as an important vehicle for intergenerational transmission of linguistics and cultural information. Current scenario, due to the modernization and urbanization brought a great change in the society where the older generations are not found to be trans transmission to the younger generation. Advance of Technology, advancements of technology, other means of entertainment, television, internet, mobile phones, movies, social media, and the first lifestyle of lifestyle, folk songs or folk tales are losing its importance. The positive attitudes, people have few younger generations have positive attitudes, but the lack of learning platforms. What can we do? The communities themselves often do not see the importance of preserving their oral traditions. It is essential. Therefore, not only to create a political environment that values the respect minority culture, but also to encourage communities to become aware of their own cultural treasure and to help them find a ways to preserve those treasures. When language and culture are preserved and children learn pride in who they are and respect for one another, the collaborative wisdoms of our nation diverse culture will help us solve problems together for generations to come. Language Language is the main vehicle of oral tradition that is, and literature is maintained. The safeguarding and preserving of language is an important factor in the process of safeguarding oral tradition. Oral traditions not only carry historical experiences of people, group, they also codify, preserve, and express distinctive bodies of knowledge. Therefore, recording and documenting the oral tradition can help us to maintain cultural knowledge contained in traditions, stories, and songs. The recording audio video of oral tradition can help in preserving the language as well as literature. The record and dance is also valuable means for preserving record of cultural activities and expression and offering an alternative means for passing them on to future generations. Conclusion, playing a crucial part of it, keeping culture alive or oral tradition and expressing are used to pass the knowledge, culture and social values and collective memory. It's a collective responsibility for every member to preserve and store rich oral tradition. Documenting and information centers such as libraries, archives, and a museum must help in collecting, documenting, and archiving the oral tradition and preserving the information contained in the oral tradition. These are my reference. Thank you.